Okay, so uh, Agatha traveled to Morocco several times. So I'm gonna ask her some questions about her experience there. Alright. So, okay. Uh, so, there we go. first question How was your experience in Morocco? Ah, oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> and, uh, it's pretty hard to describe it just with a few words. Uh, okay. From my point of view, the, current, the country was pretty exotic. Well, basically, I've been to Tangier, I've been to Fez, I've been to Meknesh, I've been to Marrakesh, uh, Azilach, Shafshawen, <laughs> Essaouira. And yeah, so I know the most of the touristy part of it. How was the experience traveling alone as a woman? I the battery is dying. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> yeah, quickly. I can say it's, it's, uh, it's pretty safe in terms of physical, uh, personal safety. No, well, there is a there. I could experience some harassment, but it was always, always verbals, like catcalling, whatever. Mm -hmm. But in uh, physical, I never, I never was. My personal space was never invited in a physical way. Mm. And uh, I could uh, share some basic tips like not looking in the eyes, being extremely careful, not uh, not responding to any cat to cat calls or whatever. Mm -hmm. mm. Just be yourself and stay relaxed. <laughs> Joking. <Okay. laughs> Thank you. I'm in a Amazir uh, restaurant that serves an awesome tea. <laughs> uh, the atmosphere is very cool because I like the decoration. And those are the Polish girls. Do you see yourself here? <laughs> okay, so I have some some questions here. So why did you choose to live in in Spain? Me? Both of you, yeah. I came to study. I study. Yeah. The thing I wanted to study wasn't very well implanted in Poland. I studied okay. social work. Okay. So the level of knowledge was much higher in Madrid, although later I changed my mind a little. And just to get out, it's a good experience to study outside your country. Yeah, yeah I agree. <laughs> What about you? Yeah, I have been traveling a lot to Spain before I made, uh, I made up my mind for of living. It was due to various uh, reasons, personal, like a matter of my personal interests, a matter of my personal relations, but finally it was uh, the fact that I got an internship in a local company and they offered me a contract and I was about to finish my PhD course in Poland. Poland I had no job, I basically had nothing to to go back to, so I went for it. Oh, cool. It was almost two years ago. Nice. What do you like about Spain? Well, for me, I think the nicest thing, the, one of the biggest difference between Poland and Spain, although right now we're not actually in Spain, uh, is the culture of togetherness. The fact that the people are on the street a lot, in the bars, they have much more activity in the neighborhoods. Poland is very lonely. The people are very invited, very individualist. So, a nice change. <laughs> what about you? I would totally second that. I mean, it's more of us and for the past country, the social life is um, more, it's better organized. The people are more active in social terms. Well, apart from the cultural issues, like the uh, Spanish and Basque cuisine, and um, well, in terms of the general political context, I guess. It more goes with my political, mm. with my own political views in general. Okay. If, uh, well, if we are speaking about political climate, but, you know, I, now, now, I'm, now I have more personal ties to the boss. I met, made some friends here. I got my I got my favorite places like the one we are uh, we are right now. Okay, another question. What do you miss most about Poland? Food. Food. <laughs> yeah, there are things you can't get here. 
and the, the taste of home. So when I get to Poland, I, I tend to go three times a year, and the first week is just about eating. You know? Okay. <laughs> I eat. <laughs> And funny, of course. Okay. What about you? Yeah, it's also about food. Though I'm, I'm a fan of local cuisine, and uh, I really appreciate the fact that I can taste uh, my favorite Moroccan food. So in Poland, there is no Moroccan community at all. Yeah. But there are some dishes or some stuff you can get Yeah, here. like the Polish bread. Mm -hmm. It's incomparable. It's a whole other thing. Mm -hmm. And I missed my social, my friends and social interactions. Like you know, the fact that you can use the same cultural code, that you can make jokes that people will understand. I miss communicating in my mother tongue because mm. I most of the time I do communicate in Spanish. That's my third language, and sometimes communicate in English. That's my second language. But you know, it's not really the same thing. I sometimes I want to share some thoughts. Sometimes I want to share jokes, and I have. No one to share this part. And this job do I really have to make a complex translation, and I'm not really satisfied with the outcome.